Hello viewers. Today I am going to show you some interesting topics. I have an application. I want to make that application as more secured by uh, the normal user uh, uh, can't access the pages uh, that which I have more restricted. Suppose I am just uh, run the application. Before going there, I just set uh, my page as uh, something like view invoice as start page. Then you, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, my pages is loaded. Actually, this is my page uh, view invoice. Actually, this is my secret record that I showed in a database. Only the particular user can able to log in, and that people only have the rights to see this page. But now it is like once we hit this page, it will show to everyone. So how to do that restriction? Here I am planning to use uh, farm authentication. For web application in ASP.NET, they provide for a security reason, form authentication, to avoid the users um, who are all not authorized can't enter the pages. So uh, I have the set of pages called login. I designed already login. I have uh, some set of conditions like user login if that user is exist uh, redirect to this page or if not do the some actions okay fine mm, i just remove this condition okay uh, before i'm going to that i uh, created on a class called site user site user actually what uh, here i created i created one helper class for me to manage my user session Actually, the, the variable session is to keep all the secured session uh, variables into the attribute called session. So, uh, most of the cases, uh, for suppose if you are logging in Gmail or somewhere, the username and password is saved in your session, browser session. It will You can access uh, to the your inbox uh, with your login credential. So same uh, likewise I am planning to do here. Okay, this is my helper class. This is my property called uh, user state. I already created. Actually, what is a user state? It is like entity. I have some set of variables, username, user ID, email. This is what I am going to check my conditions. So I created. I created an instant of the user state, and in my uh, set method, I just set. If I hit uh, this uh, class, uh, this session, whatever the value I entered, it will be saved in this session. In get method, I am just checking the condition if the user state is null, just uh, redirect default to login page, or uh, just to return my session value with the property user state. Fine. Okay, fine. Now I have the login here. Now what I am going to do is I just want to save my user state here I already created the two set of classes instance user state and for the site user I hear what uh, the user entering the username and password suppose um, this is my email okay this is a user ID so whatever the user ID that she entered This is my uh, data you can easily understand uh, I just uh, created uh, 
I just pause all my user ID suppose if I am logging I have some set of condition I just check the condition SP is like uh, is username password is valid if the count is more than um, zero uh, get all the user ID username whatever I saved in my database I am just pausing to this entity and finally I just um, call my user state here see this is an instance of my uh, session so once I uh, call my uh, instance of class I get this uh, user state I just set my session variable uh, like this okay you have a set of configuration I just to remove this one and I will type by direct way okay now all the variables uh, we have in uh, entities so finally what I am going to do I have the already the instance of site user in that uh, I get just get the user state method this is my user state method in the user state method it asking some value to set that value I pass anyways we have the entity properties the same as user state so I gave the same property so it matches now what I am going to do I just enable my form authentication over here okay this is my the concept of enable before uh, going to enable form authentication you have to add the uh, uh, namespace called system dot web dot security this is come under with the web application related uh, things okay now the form authentication initially we have to authenticate uh, the user so the th this is my form authentication uh, a default class I asking to set my cookies uh, I just want to enable my cookies it asking for the username username default we have already in the variable I just copy this uh, username paste it over here and it asking for uh, create a persistent cookie yeah I said um, no I don't want to create a persistent cookie fine and finally the form authentication Form authentication dot redirect to my login page. Uh, actually, from Lira where I have to log in, I just uh, set some condition. Mm, uh, with this user ID, I just want to redirect. So I just redirect over here. Now we have a set of uh, things here. So uh, once we log in, uh, we catch our uh, parameters like user ID, password, and we pass it into the form authentication. Now what we have to do? We have to write some set of logic to enable the authentication in my web config file inside my system dot web. Okay, this is actually my system dot web. So I can um, add here inside my system dot web. So what I'm going to do? This is all are under my system dot web. Okay, I just uh, add in this tag itself. Uh, I just uh, create my authentication uh, mode to be forms here. I'm using web web forms so okay I'm just asking the forms uh, default URL should be login um, I have my pages like this login dot ESPX and I set my timeout cookie I set my timeout three seconds three minutes sorry fine I created my authentication now I have to authorize my user who are all have to log in in my site authorization I just uh, deny
enter users okay actually what it is mean actually it is like uh, deny the users uh, this is a simple uh, like uh, another thing and your users it means uh, anonymous users a simple we will uh, instead of uh, we are entering as a uh, question mark if uh, authorized user uh, will give uh, like a uh, star symbol so now we need to deny the pages who are uh, in this uh, default I am just denying all the anonymous users fine I just save my uh, things now I created authentication authorization now I have to set some uh, location path wherever this anonymous user can able to assess it so actually in my um, login page I used um, styles JSS okay actually uh, login page can accessible by overall uh, without login with login guys so that time I need some pages to be enabled okay so that pages I giving uh, authorization to that anonymous user also okay fine how to do that one I will show you in the part 2 video please continue watching that hello viewers today i'm going to show you some interesting topics i have on application i want to make that application as more secure